Warning, the following video is an FTL special. We are trying to get to 200 subscribers on this channel. If you enjoy the content and would like to help out, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode of FTL Special Edition with us playing with the Build Your Own Ship mod with a ship that we have customly set up. We've got our crew of Fired Him. Fired Din. Fried. Zemu, Liam, Smith, and Steli. Smith, who thinks he's a human? Um, let's see. Zemu, you were supposed to be here. Smith, I think I'm going to move you. You haven't gotten any shield points. Steli is probably better for that, even though he should be a mobile repair station. Uh, so, it's been a couple days since I actually recorded. This is probably, like, the second episode of this series. Yeah, it's the second episode of this this playthrough, so you guys won't notice any difference, but uh, to me it's been a couple days. Got my Coke here, and I've heard that Coca-Cola spends a lot of money on advertisement. So if you would like to sponsor me and give me free money to advertise for your product, I will happily do so. Uh, let's see. We were here at the end of this beacon, and uh, we have a lot of options here. We can choose the Abandoned Sector, or the Abandoned Sector. I'm going to choose the Abandoned Sector, and uh, it would just be our luck that this one up here, the Unidentified Hostile, is also an Abandoned Sector. <laughs> but unfortunately, we'll never know now, so let's go. Alright, we got a Distress Beacon right off the bat. We'll hit that first. Unfortunately, it was a dud. Well, let's jump back here then. Do some exploring. Oh, this one it was more fruitful. Okay. Don't particularly like this arrangement right now. So, how are we going to deal with this? Well, we'll put, put this on auto-fire first. I think we're okay. If their shots link up properly, it's bad for us. Like it just did. Please hit. Alright, dual lasers. Your time to shine. Good, we hit. Let's get as much damage on them as humanly possible. Alright, they're getting powered up. They're offering surrender. We don't like surrender. We like the killy killy. Alright, let's get a shot in here before they can get it repaired. Oh, it's on fire. That's so pleasant. I wonder what this guy's doing. Oh, well, let's just finish them. There we go. Cut them in half with the whole beam, and we're done. And we've got the option of a store and another store. Let's try and see if we can hit both the stores. After we jump down here, of course, we'll promise to help. Uh, we'll try the NG crew this time. That gave us a good reward. I'm not entirely sure which of those two gives a good reward. I think they both give equally good rewards. And... Oh, come on, game. Don't, don't make me choose. We'll make that... And uh, we'll complete our mission. There we go. United Federation and Crystal Cruiser B type unlocked. That means from this point on, it doesn't matter what happens, we've already won. Alright, and also we have a good boarding ship here, so if we could get if we could get the option to board, that would be a thing. So, what should we do? Anything else we should... Well, we don't have any money, so there isn't much else we can do. Uh, but we essentially have this. So... Huh. What the hell? <laughs> it can't hurt, can it? <laughs> um... Alright, we have no use for that last store. From this point on, it's pretty much just upgrade the ship. 
Oh good, it's an opponent that can hurt us if he gets lucky. Actually, it's an opponent that can hurt us no matter what. That's that's a bad thing. I don't agree with this in the slightest. All right, we need we need evasion somehow. We don't have the option. All right, you can get in there and do repairs on that. We have someone on every system that matters except the oxygen room. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. We sped it up. Alright, we can win now. Okay, we can't win now. Get in there and repair that, quickly! Alright, we're gonna jump away. This was a terrible mistake. Actually, no we're not. We're going to win this. We're getting it spun up again. Don't know quite what's stopping it. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay, powering that up temporarily. You can go in there. I don't know why you're not firing, Vulcan Cannon, but that's what you should be doing. All right, good, we avoided a shot. We avoided a bomb. And our gun's offline again. I think we have to jump now. Alright, let's go this way. Hope that we get the option to reconfigure our ship. Okay, good. Let's ask about the translation device. I have a good feeling. Unfortunately, we did not have enough scrap available. I forgot that there's a scrap requirement for that. Uh, that would have given us an extra one of these guys which is very convenient. All right, this was a bad idea. We're going to once again re-equip our normal loadout. We'll keep you in reserve, however. I'll put the dual lasers up, we'll put the Vulcan cannon up. Power these weapons. And then anything else we need. No, we're good, actually. We're, we're doing pretty well. Even though we screwed up on that mission right there because I was playing around, we still did okay. We still survived. Alright. Let's try this. Oh. Well, that's a good weapon. It requires three power, and it gets, gets us three shots, which is... Well, a power per shot. It's not as good as the dual laser. The dual laser gets us two attacks per shot, so... I'm sorry, two shots per power. Which is... I think about the best in the game, really. Like, the Vulcan Cannon is, is obviously the best weapon in the game, period. But other than that... If you want to get consistent damage per shot... What you want to go for is the... Right, we want to wait another round of that. Fire one shot off of this, and we get a hit. Now, start doing some damage to them. Come on. There we go. And they're trying to run away. That's not going to happen, my friends. Correction, you, you are going to run away. You're going to be fine. Thank you. Uh, so we got offered uh, quite a bit of fuel, and fuel is pretty much the most valuable thing ever. So we want fuel. Especially early in the game like this, we want plenty of fuel. Um, scanning the ship for life form causes them to activate. Powering the weapons causes them to activate. Investigating the ship does not. Okay. So, that's what I thought. Having the Lanius crew member allows us to basically get scrap for free.
<laughs> Solder? I'm pretty sure that meant soldier, but... Or something. I'm pretty sure soldier meant a word. I don't know what they meant. They're the laniest. They're difficult to understand. Right, fire the ion blast. Fire the dual lasers. And fire the hull beam. Fire it this way. Oops. We want to get the cockpit as well. Nope. There was no fuel in there. So I am not interested. Ooh, fire. It's too bad they're a ship that doesn't have fire issues. Alright, and they're dead. I like the Lanius' ships. They have really cool ships. Like, the only one of their ships I don't particularly like is their cruiser. The cruiser's okay. Not as cool as the rest of their ships. It's too bad, though. Um, we'll jump... We'll jump... See? Hold on a second. We'll jump Mantis Controlled. <laughs> Just had to double-check something before we jump into Mantis Controlled territory. Um, we will give them fuel. We have an abundance of it. Oh! Sweet. Now we can power our engines. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, we have the option of getting a Mantis or losing a crew member. I believe Block is the last crew member we got, and we have an excess crew member, so... Oh. And they, of course, took out one of the crew members I didn't want to lose. It's too bad we don't have a clone bay. Okay, we won. That encounter was a victory. Uh, we'll put the rock guy on the helm, because the rock guy never needs to move. And he's good against fire, so if they catch the area on fire, then that's good. If they puncture a hole in it, he can deal with that for quite a while, so that's good. I would argue Lanius, Rockmen, and Humans are all good for pilots. Humans are actually very useful crew members because there's no crew member that has an advantage when manning anything. But humans learn faster than everyone else. And that makes them really good in piloting, it makes them really good in weapons, it makes them really good in pretty much everything because they'll just learn it faster than everyone else. We'll send the NG. Uh, I believe both of those options are good. Okay, we found exactly what we were looking for. So we are going to get rid of the burst laser, because we'll no longer need it. As soon as we can get the Vulcan cannon operating with the rest of our weaponry, then uh, we're good to go. The whole smasher... Not sure about. Not quite sure what I want to do with that yet, so I'll hold on to it. But this, this we need to pick up. Because that right there is something we need to make happen. Alright. We're going to have to make a heavy decision here, guys. We are going to reconfigure the crew. Actually, um... Yeah, he doesn't he hasn't mastered his engine's ability. And no one else has. No one has mastered any crew abilities. We will, however, pick up some repairs. We are going to need that. Uh, we do not need a store. We'll head down this way. If we get enough scrap, we'll go back to the store. Alright. We're up against mantises, which means we're not in a great position when it comes to boarding parties. Especially since we can't get them back out again. So we're going to see what we can do with regards to 
weakening them a little bit. Okay, they did that. I don't particularly agree with it. Alright. And we will do some damage to most of their crew members. Oh, we did some extra damage too. Alright, let's get in here. Start mixing it up. Hopefully that gives us enough of an advantage. Okay, that was bad, but it could have been worse. Alright, go repair that real quick. Because we need to be able to deal with this. Alright, we win. Alright, this guy's on fire. He's going to come fight us, but he won't be able to win. I think we can wait him out. If it gets dangerous, we'll just pull out of there real quick. Alright, get rid of this. Alright, we want to pull our guys back so we can put them in the med bay. Unfortunately. We're going to have to go another round. Uh, please choose the better room to go through. You run away. You go in there as well. Turn oxygen off. It will eventually burn up the oxygen in there. Okay, this guy's gonna die on his own, so... Problem is, will we take too much damage before that becomes a thing? Can you just burn out already? Turn the oxygen back on. Alright, good. That's burnt out. Get our oxygen back. Uh, you can go deal with that, because you're a Lanius. That's what you do. You can go this way, you can go this way, and you can go this way. Turn the oxygen off. Get out of there. Get back into the healing room. Get medicked up. You go in there and just finish this real quick. There we go. Now we're going to get hit. By one more. We're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it really quick. Call you guys back before you start taking too much damage. Send you to the med bay and jump the heck out. Alright, is there no... There's no other way than through the store here, so... The entire sector is in a dead end, which is kinda stupid. Do they have anything worthwhile? They have the scrap recovery arm, which is amazing, so we will sell anything to buy that. Alright, let's get some oxygen back in the building. Get our guys ready. Get you guys over there. Get some weapons online. Get this powered up. And jump out. Oh, we should have bought some repairs. Why didn't I do that? All right, everybody, into the med bay. Guess I managed to make them freak out a little bit. All right. We're going to flood you guys the heck out. Like this. Turn the oxygen off. And they, of course, want to go this way, which is, you know, Absolutely okay by my standards. We'll turn the oxygen back on and leave them to slowly die a horrible, painful death. Uh, you can continue to die. Turn the medbay on. Keep our guys healing. Now you're going to fight one on one with a guy that can live in a vacuum. 
And they did negligible damage to us. In fact, they did no damage to us. Let's get you guys down here. Oh, sorry, you're going that away. You're going there. You go over here. And we need to remember to save our crew positions this time. So we can do this the easy way from now on. But yeah, we totally should have repaired last time. I didn't think about it. But we do have the scrap recovery arm. So everything will work out in the end. Okay, I don't agree with this weapon setup. Mainly because they have a really, really big missile. They don't have anything else that can legitimately hurt us. Sorry, hiccuped there for a bit. But... But, but. Alright, jump in there, start doing some damage. So I'm knocking some heads around. Oh, they got one of those things, don't they? Oh no, this is an ion storm. Kill them! Kill them quickly! Destroy all they hold dear. Okay. Now they immediately start doing tons and tons of damage to us. Alright, get that fired at that thing right now. Okay, we died. That was an instantaneous death. As soon as that thing hit us, we got hit by all of their lasers and the beam drone all at once. We didn't get the shields online in time. Oh well. It was a good run, though. It, it was a very good run. And like I said in the last... Ep well, I know. It was the same episode. Like I said during the last jump, we still win because we got oh, the B version. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.